mind. My God, my God, what a strong reproach I deserve. Now he's going to tell me, why did you betray me? Which was the last huge error Peter made. But all Peter's life, even in the familiarity with the master, all of his life had been troubled because of his impetuous character, because of his instinctive grandeur, because of his pushing him, himself ahead. He saw everything in himself as defect. Everything was defective in him. That betrayal made him clearly aware of all the rest of his errors and how he was worth nothing, how weak he was, weak to the point of needing compassion. Simon, imagine the jolt he felt when that word was uttered in his ear, touching his heart. Simon, and he must have slightly turned his face toward Jesus. Do you love me? But who would have expected these words? Who would have expected these words? Think, a 40, 50 year old man with a family, with children, such a child in front of the mystery of that companion he had met by chance. And they brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him as he approached that look. It is the look Peter will remember all his life. Your name is Simon, son of John. You will be called Petrus, that is rock. Usually a name is changed to indicate a character trait or to indicate something that had happened in the life of the man it had to do with. Therefore, let's imagine how it felt to be looked at through by that gaze that knew him, knew him piece by piece. You will be called Rock. His character was identified with that word, Rock. And the last thing he was thinking was to imagine what the mystery of God and the mystery of that man, son of God, would have done with that rock, would have made